We've been investing in micro caps as part of our small cap strategy for over 10 years. And it's always been an area that the team and I loved investing in. We love that under-researched nature of it, finding those hidden gems before the rest of the market. So while we've always been doing it, we've never had a dedicated product for it before. So we decided to launch the microcap fund uh, just over a year ago to give our investors direct access to this skill. What we love as a team about microcaps is the under-researched nature. Being such a big universe, 2,000 stocks, it's very hard for brokers to adequately cover that. So we've got a very big investment team. And we can go out and do our own proprietary research and build up convictions in these names. Uh, we did over 50% net of fees in the first year. Um, what's also pleasing is we did it without taking undue risk. We had over 60 stocks in the portfolio, so the returns were spread from a number of sectors and a number of stocks. The perfect stock for us, we, we start with management. Management are very important at this end of the market, and we're looking for management to be aligned with us as shareholders. So typically that means they've got a very big shareholding in the company, and so we know that any actions they're making are in their own best interest and our best interest um, being shareholders. So that's number one. Number two we look at is the balance sheet. At this end of the market, we really don't like debt. Over half the companies we own have no debt at all. And that's important to reduce risk, number one, but also to give the companies optionality for growth if, if a good acquisition comes along or, or growth capital. Um, finally, we're looking for companies that are able to generate growing cash flow over the next two or three years. And we'll model that up. And at the end of it all, we want to make sure if a company's got all those attributes, growing cash, good management alignment, good balance sheet, we don't want to be paying too much for it because we're value managers at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, we're picking 60 stocks that have the, all those characteristics but are also good value.